If you have tried to convert the list of numbers into a table using the function table from list, you know that you will get this error. Today I'm going to show you two different options how you, we can walk around that and get your list of numbers into a table using Power Query. The table from list function requires a text-based input. So how are we going to convert our list of numbers into text? Well, you will be surprised how easy that will be. Uh, I'm going to show you two options. Here I have a workbook and we go to the data tab, get data from other sources, blank query. I'm using Microsoft 365. Uh, the Power Query Editor opens and uh, Ctrl C plus to zoom in. Here on the left, I have the query Spain and I have the name of this query is query one. I'm going to just hide this so we have a little bit more room. And here I'm going to say equal. And I'm going to provide a list of items. So open uh, curly brackets. And if you want to learn more about lists in Power Query, I have a tutorial on that. I'm going to leave the link of that video here on the description. So here on my formula bar, I'm going to provide the first item. I'm going to say that is going to be house. And this is a text, so I need to provide the quotation marks. I'm going to say comma. The next will be son, and the next will be car. Press enter. And now I have my list with every single item that I separated with a comma here inside of my curly bracket. Let's say now I want to transform this list into a table because I probably want to add a column. And of course, if I have a list, I cannot add a column. This is only a list, right? So to do that, I'm going to go after the equal. And I'm going to say table from list. Open parentheses, go to the end. I'm providing the list as list, which is the list that we're seeing here. I'm going to close parentheses and I'm going to press enter. Now you see that instead of having the title list, it says column one. That means that now I have the table and if I want to add a column, I can easily add, let's say, an index column. I can add a column to this table. So I'm going to delete this last step. I don't need it. And I have no issues when my list has text. So I'm going to create another query here. I'm going to go and open the query pane and right click, new query, other sources, blank query. And I'm going to do something very similar, but at this time I'm going to provide numbers inside of my list. And I want from the number one, and I'm going to provide two dots to say that I want from number one to number 50. And I'm going to present them. Now I have a list of numbers that go from one to number 50. If I try to do exactly the same that I did in the previous query, table from list, open parentheses, go to the end, close parentheses, and press enter, and then I get this error. And it says that we cannot convert the value one to type text. No, because it's a number. So if I go to the formula bar and I put my click, of course it says, table from list, and I put my cursor on top of that, I can see that this function has more parameters, which are optional. And the next parameter is an splitter as nullable function, hmm. which splitter can help me with this function? Well, let me start typing split, and you can see I have a splitter split by nothing. That is exactly what I need. Open and close parentheses. When I go to the end, press enter, and now I can see that my list has been transformed into a tape. I have column one here. This is for default. However, I can change the name of that column. I can go to the next parameter. After the pa closing parentheses for the splitter, um, split by nothing, I'm going to provide a comma, and now I can provide the columns as any. So I'm going to provide the curly brackets and provide the name of that column inside the quotation marks, and that will be numbers. Go to the end, press enter. Now I have my table, let's say this column is called numbers and it has all my numbers inside of that column. This is the first option. Let's go and create a new step here so I can show you the second option. So I'm gonna delete what is in the formula bar. I'm gonna provide equal, same thing, open curly brackets from one to 50, press enter. Now I have my list. If I go after the equal and I say table, uh, from list, open parentheses, go to the end, close parentheses, press enter, I get the same error. Now I know that I can provide an splitter as nullable function. Well, each 
is a keyword for function. I'm going to provide the curly brackets and the underscore for every single element of this list. Go to the end, press enter, and here you go. You have your new table with one column from the list from 1 to 50. I can also add at the end the third parameter that is providing the name of the columns as any, open curly brackets, the name of the column inside of quotation marks, and uh, say numbers. Go to the end, press enter, and now you have your column with the title numbers. I hope you found this information useful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on LinkedIn, and share. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.